Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 111 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. So we offhandedly got permission from the high priest for the residents of the castle to visit the town. So we come and tell them and they actually seem pretty happy. So yeah, it's really alright for us to go. Well, this means that the castle doesn't have to fight anymore, doesn't it? That's good. Fuchsia has recognized us. Interesting interpretation. There are people who are so relieved it brings tears to their eyes. And there are some pilgrims that are simply glad for this opportunity. So, the residents' reactions are varied. <laughs> so, a particular little brat says this is the first time he's gotten the chance to do this. <laughs> And this guy's saying that he was glad to make the pilgrimage. If this opportunity hadn't been here, he probably would never have left his village. So having heard the news, the residents are, well, in large part, running out to the village. <laughs> Everybody's running so happily towards this town. So the battles to protect the castle went on for such a long time. It's nice to get a chance to take it easy and rest. Yeah, those circumstances, they were always wondering how long it would be before they died. It's good that we got permission to go out. Yeah, they'd be pretty easy being under house arrest. Uneasy being pr under house arrest. Especially if the elves weren't going to be clear as to whether they were going to kill everyone or not. Anyway, the residents are all making a big ruckus and heading out. And the elves that are watching over the castle do take the trouble to warn them. <laughs> Be careful not to rile up the pilgrims and the other residents. Alright, we're headed out. So, they smile as they do their greetings and head for the town. And that's that for that scene. But now we've got another. Hell, oh, back and forth, back and forth. When do I get to kill elves? Alright. A guy. Nope, that's the wrong button. Oh, that guy again. Well, that face again. Anyway, he has a message that the high priest is told to give him. To give us to us too. So, hearing what the elf soldier has to say, we doubt our very ears. Without thinking, we have him repeat it and confirm what he said. So, High Priest Kudvans wants to meet and talk with Avaro and Fia. And this guy is going to guide us to the location of wonder what he wants well can't we ask 
What did he say? 以上だ。準備が整い次第、大司教様のもとへ案内する。That is all. Once you are finished with your preparations, he is to guide you to the high priest. So, this particular elf soldier wasn't told any more than that. So he starts waiting for us to get ready. So, if we want to know what the conversation is going to be about, I guess we'll have to go and have the conversation. It looks like if we don't go, we don't know how it's going to happen. We don't know what kind of conditions we're going to have. Since he's calling us out for a talk, I guess there's no way we can refuse. Hmm. You know, I noticed this in a trial run last time, but I didn't call it out. Kudavans has these trees growing on him this time, and the spirit kind of things. Way back at the beginning of the game, when he spoke with Mixuana, I don't think those were on him. Well, anyway, the elf soldier guides us into this particular meeting place. When he sees Fia, he perks up his chin. Fia, sama, go so kuro o kake shimashita. So he says he has troubled her to bring her to call her out here. Yes, do as you wish. What the hell kind of response is that? We're first meeting him, and we're going to get misunderstood. Ah, well, she wanted to say something that sounded kind of godlike. Uh, anyway, what's the conversation? What's this talk you wanted to have with us? Before the commencement of the Holy Accords, there are several things that he would like to confirm. Okay, so what are they? まずは先にグアラクーナ城塞を固定する際に使用した弓縄について。First of all, with regard to the bow cast ropes, that the castle is going to be fixed with. あ、oh, あ、アバロが下がったら高速が溶けちゃったっていう。そういえばあの時、周りのエルフさんたち驚いてたよね。That's right. When a v a r went and touched them, the the binding just collapsed. And come to think of it, when the elves saw it, they were the other elves saw it, they were surprised. They said that only the high class members of their society could do it. Navarro knows that he had elf blood in him, but. Oh. I guess the elf soldiers didn't know. So, just by touching it, it naturally dissolved. Navarro was thinking of the sensation it had and looks at his hand. Except he's always wearing gloves. How does that work? So, anyway, that barrier probably reacted to his elf blood. And it wasn't like he touched it with the intention of breaking this barrier. But at the time, it just kind of happened. I've always speculating a bit there. But Kudavans just continues. Ano kekai jutsu wa, ware ra no chi o motsu mono ni shika seigyo dekin. So those barrier techniques 
cannot be controlled by anybody but those who bear this bloodline. And furthermore, even if you had such unprecedented power as to be on level with the gods, if you didn't have the blood, you wouldn't be able to do it. Yeah, well, and that's the case. And he wasn't really trying to break it. Now, Fia tries to think really deeply about what this means and looks off into the distance, cocking her head. Uh, Navarro as well kind of thinks about it. So, if you don't hold the blood, you'll be refused. In other words, if Avaro was able to control these seals, does that mean that Avaro's elf blood actually came from this village as elves? His words actually shake as he says them, and Kudavans confirms. <laughs> So that's the case. He has human blood in him, but it is the same blood as this village. He kind of says it like it's nothing, but this breaks Avaro in two. His lips shake and his thoughts are all disordered. Yeah, what the hell's happening here? So his human blood is from these humans that tried to make the castle and fight against the gods. And the half that is elf blood comes directly from the Fuchsia Faiths. Well, the Fuchsia Faiths faithful. These rune elves. Why the hell is his bloodline so fucking confused like this? So he's kind of venting. I mean, freak out of ours, seriously. But Kudvansen continues. So it's gotten this far. Or he's saying he's gotten this far? One of those ambiguities. He says it somewhat sadly, and also somewhat exasperatedly. What he says next was quite out of left field. Okay, Avaro. Your mother has already left this world. Did you know that? No, he didn't know that. But rather, how is it that you know? Would it be because I was born in this village? It's natural. Your mother was my daughter, after all. Ha! Huh? Now, what... You just said something... Really, does that mean that Kudavans here is Avaro's grandfather? 
<laughs> I guess that's what it means. Yes, it is. That's absolutely what it is. Avaru is rather startled by this, but for some reason, he is really excited. So, Avaru still has blood relatives alive. Hey, there's the uh, Dark Refiners guys. Ah, uh, anyway. So, when he first came to the age of awareness, his parents weren't by his side, so all he knew was that he was a half-elf. There weren't any clues. And it's not like he had the feeling like he wanted to go out and search for them. And now, all of a sudden, he finds one. So this means he's not the only one of his family alive. Isn't this great? Avaro, this is part of your real family. Uh, yeah, but we aren't certain about that yet. And that means he'll be part of Fia's family too. Huh? What are you talking about now? Well, because we're going to be husband and wife, of course. That's how it works. Oh, yeah, that's how it works. Ah, uh, Avaro's head is spinning here. He doesn't get anything. So, Fia's all excited. It's what she does. Dork. But the conversation must continue. So is it really true that you're Avaro's grandfather? And why did his mother die? I want to point out the spoken word is mother. The written word is mother-in-law. Meaning Fia's mother-in-law. So yeah, she's skipping ahead to the being married part. Hey, don't go running ahead like that. Hmm. So, the blood relation is the truth. When Avaro was born into the world, he was there. There's no mistaking it. So, apparently Avaro's eyes strongly resemble her mother, his mother, ha. And then there's the magic power within his body. Without a doubt, it is one of Kudvance's blood family. And furthermore, that characteristic hair color. More than anything, it would be a memento of his lost daughter. So, Avaro's hair is two colors, white and black, in case you had forgotten. Yeah, setting aside for the moment this magic power flowing through him and all. Avaro always thought it was just because he was a half-elf. In that case, it means that the black part of his hair means that his father was black-haired and his mother was a white-haired rune elf. So, how did Avaro's mother die? 
死にゆく前に縁の途切れた娘だこれ以上は話せぬ Because she forgot her role and she worked in justice Before she died, Kudavans cut ties with her. And more than that, he cannot say. So he can't say anymore. Whether that means he doesn't know anymore or whether he doesn't want to say anymore, we don't know. So to say she forgot her role. Probably that role would be working in the Fuchsia Faith's temple. So earlier, in response to something Avaro said, Kurvan said, So it's gotten that far, right? That would mean that Avaro's father. Was, was known to be a member of the Dark Refiners. k u d a v a n s has his,、uh, his eyebrows twitch just slightly at this. Muron de Ari. Nagaraku Fiusia Kyoni Adanas Ningen Zok no Soski ga Waga Musme o Torikonda. Of course. This human tribe organization that they've been, that the Fuchsia Faith has been watching for so long, took his daughter. So today, He invited us out here to see just how much the two of us are connected to Vaclav Gaidal. Did you remember he had a first name? I sometimes forget. Anyway, we're talking about the gar- Dark Refiner Gaidal and just how badly we're connected to him. <laughs> so, Gaidal's name has even gotten to the high priest here. Yeah, well, if you're talking about our connection to them, before we came here, we went to their home base, ran, ran over the place, and fought vi- and had a violent fight with them. Oh, wait, wait a minute. So, if the El. if Avaro's elven mother. Connected with a human father, and it's a member of the Dark Refiners. And the high priest himself knows of this one person's name. Just a little bit, I'd like to confirm something. Don't tell me, it couldn't be true that Gaidal is a v a r o s father. Yeah, no, there's no way that could be. Waga Musme of Bujoku Stirunoka. Anoyona Jacuna Otokoto no coin nado. Yurus has g o n a k a r o So, do you mean to insult his daughter? She wouldn't forgive a marriage with such an evil person, an evil man. Hmm. I thought they were all pretty evil. Well, it's hard to say. We don't actually see any of them. Gaidal talks about them, but. Are there really, like, brainwashed, crazy, evil people? Ha. Anyway. I've always relieved to know this. But this is the first time seeing Kudvans get angry or anything. Even though he said that he cut ties with his daughter, it seems that he still doesn't want her to be misunderstood. 
Perhaps he really does care about his daughter, Avaro's mother, after all this time. Oh, that surprised Fia. But how about the father? He left this world with his daughter. So, the two of them died together, I guess. Hmm. So, hearing that, Fia shuts up and is quiet for a moment. <laughs> because she's kind. I've always just learned that both of his parents are dead. So, a moment of silence. As for Avaro, he's never met either of them. So he doesn't know how to feel exactly. Well, this chance to, oppor to talk with you as the head priest is an opportunity where Avaro would like to confirm another thing. So, we want to go to the God's Haze. We would like to request direct permission. So, is that intention yours? Well, Avaro also wants to go there. But the originator was Fia. So, Goddess, he would like to hear your will and your reason for visiting the Holy Land. Okay, she's sorry, as usual, but she doesn't know why she wants to go. But she just knows that she has to no matter what. Apostle of the Goddess. Do you too, following that will, and not knowing, even knowing why I want to go there. Well, Avaro is a little different. He wants to go in order to find a way to save Fia. In order to extract Fia from this, from being thought of as taboo. He wants to search there. So. Is that so? Akirameyo. Give it up. That journey will not be granted. So, his words are short, and it's a straight up refusal. So, that holy land. They cannot allow anyone, no matter what, to set foot in. To that purpose, they are watching over it. So, what's the reason why you can't let anyone in? Why is there any need to tell you? This is a custom set by Fuchsia. And furthermore, this land is Fuchsia's. What we should prioritize is the God's will. Even so, what happens if we say we still want to go? 
We have a god here too, and she has a will to go. Tomeru. その命ごと排除する必要も出てくるだろう。So they're going to stop us, and even if they have to erase our lives. 近畿の存在は生かしておけぬ。それが神の定めた不分立だ。たとえ知らぬ者が多くとも破れることはない。So these taboos cannot be allowed to exist, and that's an unwritten rule that was set by the gods. Even if there are many who do not know of it, it cannot be broken. Why would they make it an unwritten rule and then say nobody can break it? Ah,、uh, anyway, is that so? I've always says it a bit accusingly. So again, they're saying that the castle, along with Thea, needs to be killed and destroyed, respectively. So we're probably going to end up fighting. Even if it is true that we're related by blood. Well, you can't say something that sad. Hmm. I've always just thinking it. But anyway. Okay, Fia. But we need to go there. And anyway, your life is in danger. It's not like I've always complaining about petty matters here. But Fia. Has this serious expression on her face? In listening to this exchange between Kudavans and Alvaro. Now, I'm doing my best. But what's more important is Alvaro and Kudavans. So right now, we don't need to worry about Fia. What's more important is Alvaro and Kudavans. After all, Avaro is related by blood. He's family. Even if we are connected by blood, I have no family. Sude ni kono dai de, wale ra no aida no tsunagari wa kieta. So, his child is lost, and he has no connections in that regard any longer. Even if it comes to crossing swords, he will show no hesitation. Hesitation. So, is that really how he thinks? Of course. Oh, how harsh! So he's all but saying that he has no hesitation in this. この場でこれ以上の議論を交わすことに意味はない All right, there is no meaning to continue these arguments here. 神の意志と目的は確認できた。それは聖域をにてぜひを問うことになろう。So, Fia's will and objective has been confirmed, and now we're going to ask again at the Holy Accords. 貴殿らの歩みに付随する数々の問題もその場で断じられる。And the various problems that arose. From their actions up to now, will also be judged at that place. So, the problems that arose in our journey, huh? Well, she's going to plead again to Kudvance. Whether we 
can't really see eye to eye about this. Whether there's really no way we can, you know, walk together. So everything will be decided at the Holy Accords. So, you must not forget, Goddess. You, your existence itself, is known to be a sin. So, Guadacuna Castle, being tied up at this point, and this company business you've been running, having effects in various countries, has given rise to this opportunity now. So she's already become one of these taboo existences. And it is a deep sin. Normally, her disposal would be short, swift, and without mercy. So I guess we can see the Holy Accords as a step up from normal? Is that what he's saying? But that's the end of the conversation. And he cuts out. So we didn't get permission weren't able to get permission. Yeah, it seems it'll be said at the meeting. <laughs> so, Fia being kind-hearted and all. She's thinking it's such a pity that it turned out like this. And at that time, what Fia was asking wasn't as the representative of the castle either. With regard to the position we are in, she just wanted to make friends with Coup de Vance. Okay, so, if we have the opportunity, no matter how many times, we should try and talk to him. Especially Avaro. But he sees you... He seems to be pretty stubborn. Even if Avaro goes, he doesn't think they'll just be able to get permission like that. He did, after all, straight up say he had no family. And of all himself, all of a sudden found out he had this blood relative. But it's somebody he's only meeting for the first time. It's hard to think of him as family. Well, that's not it, though. The permission is important, but it's also critical that we properly talk things out. So, we're both in our respective positions in this, and that can't be helped. After all, we've been separated all this time. But if we don't try and talk it out, well, we're not going to convey our... convey anything between us. So there are families that live together that even don't see eye to eye, they go every which way. 
so that you're meeting for the first time really isn't that out of the ordinary you'd be having little disagreements. So everything didn't go well in this time, but we did find out that Avaro has a blood relative. So, Avaro Thea thinks that that's a good thing. So she smiles gently and presses on his back like saying, let's try and talk some more. And if everything was decided once you're refused once, it would be a waste. Hmm, yeah, you're right. Before this whole accords gets convened, let's try and find a opportunity to talk again. Hmm, okay then. Oh boy, so many scenes before we get a fight. I'm really itching to kill some elves. You know, I'm... I know there was something in the middle of that conversation I wanted to say and I... I kept translating and now I forgot it. Huh. Maybe I'll remember it another time. Maybe I won't. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.